Hi, my name is Kimberly. I'm the Audible Book Reader, and today we're playing Battleship Picks My March and April's TBR. So stick around. All right. If you watched any of my videos in March, you know that March was quite a hectic month for me. And while I actually filmed this video uh, in February, the, I had the dogs here that I was dog sitting and it was quite loud and then whenever I went to go edit it, it was quite horrible and then I just didn't know what to do and blah, 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 blah. So the other thing is that I gave myself a rule that if I hit a boat, I can hit two boats and then add two extra books that month. But for some reason, I, I hit six boats. Spoiler alert, we got, we got six boats coming up that I hit. And I decided to just keep drawing. I was just, I was having a good old time and for some reason I thought I would be able to do it and uh, I didn't. But that's okay. So that means that I actually have um, 12 books, I don't know, <laughs> that um, I needed to read for, not including like my extra, my extra books, but um, that I needed to read for the month of March. That did not happen. So we, um, I'm just gonna keep rolling it over into April and we'll just, we'll just go here and I'm refilming. So we're gonna go back and forth between past Kim in February when I was drawing tiles and then today and I will go over which books I picked for each prompt, if I had already read them for March or if I'll be reading them in April. So uh, let's go over real quick uh, the books that I was supposed to read in February. Uh, there were six books and um, because I hit one boat. I, I was so excited I hit one boat. <laughs> so um, spoiler alert, I read all six of them. So I'm just gonna go over them real quickly. The first book was a book I forgot I had and I chose A Chance in This World, An Orphan Boy, A Mysterious Past, and How He Found a Place Called Home. This was by and narrated by Steve Pendleton. The second book was Written in Letters uh, or Diaries, and for this I chose the color purple, and this I also uh, used for the buzzword-a-thon uh, word, which was a color. This was narrated and by Alice Walker. The third book was a book less, an audiobook less than six hours long, and for this I chose Shameless, and this was by Nadia Boltz Weber, and also narrated by her. And I also, this was a book for my um, Better Than Our Husbands book club, book club. <laughs> so the first, fourth book was Black and White. And for this, I chose Black Crow, White Snow by Michael Livingston. And this was narrated by Janita Edwards. The sixth book was A Romance, which was perfect for February. And this I read A Wedding Date by Jasmine Gallory. And this was also narrated by Janita Edwards. And I was able to use this for my Hey Readathon, um, Hey Reader Athon. I can't ever say it. Uh, which was uh, red on the color, and the cover is very red. Last but not least, my extra draw book was a physical book, and so I physically read That's BS by Risha Grant. So yay, I got through all of my February uh, books. So let's get started to our first draw. The first one we got was I Ate, and this was a chapter title page as art. And then we go to I Ate, and we hit a boat on our very first try. I was super excited. So, for title art on the book, I was trying to think, okay, what audiobooks do I have that I can figure out might have title art? And I was trying to go through and figure it out, and then I just realized I needed to find a physical book that I had first <laughs> so I could look it up. And Wondersmith, which was actually one that I wanted to physically read, uh, but I ended up listening to uh, just because, again, March was crazy. But there is a picture on each title page. So that was great. We hit a boat. I read that book in March and let's go on to number two. Okay, 
Okay, here we have D7. We did not hit a boat, but the prompt is a book about a natural disaster. And here I decided to pick Isaac's Storm by Eric Lawson. This was narrated by Richard Davidson, and I was able to read that in March. All right, book number three. Great, we got E1. And this prompt is a person on the cover. And E1, we hit a boat. <laughs> so look at that, we hit another boat. Um, this was number two, which would have been my second uh, add-on book now. So I just kept going. But the prompt, a person on the cover, and for this I chose Clean Sweep by Alana Andrews and this was narrated by Renee Rodman and uh, for this book I was also able to use it for the Hey Readathon prompt which was to have a uh, book picked by a friend so my friend picked this book for me and I was able to read this in March so yay third book second book that was hit <laughs> so let's go on to book number four Okay, book four, we got I3, and the prompt is a book from your 2020 backlist TBR. And for this, let's see, I3, we hit another boat. So now we're on our third boat hit. So that meant three extra books because I wasn't following my own rules and setting myself up for not having success. <laughs> Anyways, book number three, or four, I3, uh, book from my 2020 backlist. What I did was I went on to Audible and looked at all the books that I bought in 2020 and looked at what I hadn't finished, and I decided to read Dear Luna, the final chapter. This is by Amber Crowley and narrated by Murphy Napier, and I actually listened to this in March and loved it. So, next one. All right, E3, and E3, we have Brings Out the Geek in You, and E3, it is another hit. So we got, we got two hits for the big boat. <laughs> All right, so E3, Brings Out the Geek in You. So for this one, I decided to read um, Driving Innovation from Within, this is actually going to, well, it was supposed to be my March leadership class um, book club pick, but I got pushed to April. So I did not actually read this in March. So this one will now be on my April TBR. Um, and this is by <sighs> Kalan Kippendorf. I'm so sorry. He is such a great guy. I got to listen to him speak several times and um, he's been awesome and I still can't say his name so I apologize. But I'm going to say this brings out the geek in me because this is for my leadership class but the book club part wasn't required but um, I had to go and do the book club book because it's a book club. Why not? <laughs> All right. So fourth book hit out of five Shots. Okay. D6. Okay. So D6. This is a WTF plot twist. And it is another boat hit. Uh, so we're getting... This is now one, two, three, four, one, two... Our fifth book hit. <laughs> so for this book, I decided to read The Thief. And this is by Megan Whalen Turner, and it's narrated by Steve West. And this, I wasn't actually sure if there was going to be a plot twist in this or not. Um, I was assuming that there would be. I don't know why. I was really just trying to fit a book in that was a book club book because I already had so many books. And um, yeah, I am going to say this this hit the prompt quite well. So uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. And I did get that done at the very end of March. So 
Next book, D5. D5, and this is the book that has been on your TBR the longest. Now for this, I decided I could have gone onto my Audible and look at like the book that I bought the longest ago and haven't read yet. Um, but then I also thought that I could actually go to my Goodreads and you can see here, I hopefully I still have the footage. <laughs> um, I decided to see what was on my TBR like want to read list and I happened to that I still owned or something, yeah, I, I can't remember. Anyways, I ended up picking Last Hope Island, and this is by Lynn Olson. Um, it's narrated by author Morley and Kimberly Farr, although I think Kimberly Farr just does the introduction. So um, this is about World War II. Um, it's a nonfiction book, and I am currently reading this. I'm on chapter 10, so this is definitely gonna be a April book. Um, no boat hit that time, but let's go on to the next one. Okay, we got A6. A6, and this prompt is my hubby pick. So, uh, and let's see, A6 is not a hit, so no hit for this one. At this point, I'm feeling very grateful that we're not hitting a boat because man, those books were adding up. Um, all right, so The Killer Angels is what my husband decided that he wanted me to read for this month. Um, he was so incredibly cute trying to pick out a book. Like He picked out several. Um, and if you look at my booktube spin challenge, uh, there's like also a list of books that I know he wants me to read. So I thought he was gonna pick one of those. Nope, he went for something completely new. Uh, but I did read this. Um, it's about the during the Civil War, uh, the battles of the Battle of Gettysburg. So I did get that done in March. The next one, F five. Okay, so F five is the prompt is snake on the cover, and F five was another boat hit. <laughs> so. This um, I now is one, two, three, four, five, six. This is our sixth boat, boat hit. And uh, so now I'm thinking, okay, um, there's a bunch of books that I've seen with snakes on the cover that look really interesting that I think I would like to read, but I really wanted to read something that I already owned uh, just to, you know, since it's a TBR game, I mean, it's good to get new books, but I wanna try and also get past books off. So Snake on the Cover, I decided to do The Reptile Room by Lemony Snicket's. And uh, it was also a nice short book. So I was feeling like at this point, I need some smaller books. Okay, let's go for the next book. Okay, for this one, we picked J2, Historical with a Twist. Hmm, okay. So J2, we did not hit a boat. It got very close to hitting a boat, but it did not hit the boat. Uh, and so historical with a twist, I decided to do a Ripple in Time um, by Victor Zug. And this was narrated by Sean William Doyle. And I did get this book read. Last book. Okay, F3. So F3 three is a non-binary protagonist and last but not least we did not hit a boat i am so grateful at this point um i didn't have any books that i knew of that was by a non-binary protagonist or i didn't really know without having read them if the protagonist was so Anyways, I decided to, I looked, I looked up some lists um, and I, I think looked up on Facebook, I asked a question and someone suggested the 57 bus. Uh, this is by Denise, uh, Keisha Slater. 
and it's um, going to be narrated by Robin Miles. I uh, just picked this up from the library. I did not get to it in March, so this will definitely be an April book for me. Um, I, I just have to say that I am so glad I got this copy of this book from the library because some kid must have like had it and used it for school because there's these post-it notes all through here, like improv too, done without being planned. So there's some like notes in here with definitions. Um, let's see, what's another one? Uh, gravely deep and rough sounding. Uh, ooh. And then this one, it's disgusting how people will do anything to get publicity. Um, so anyways, I'm so excited to listen and read this book at the same time just to um, read all of like, the little treasure hunts in this book. Uh, I mean, they're all throughout here. And I'm leaving them all for the next person too. So um, that is my TBR list for... Um, for March and April. So let's see here. I actually have one, two, three. Okay. I guess I did better than I thought I did in um, March because I honestly thought that I didn't get through most of the books, but I got through all of them but three. So yay. Um, so three books for the TBR game. But I also have um, uh, all three of my book club books um, that I all need to get to. And then the Buzzwordathon this month is something galaxy uh, related. And then the Hey Readathon, Hey Reader, um, I'll put those links down below. That is uh, five words in the title. So I definitely got some books to do. April's going to be just as crazy as. March was, um, if not crazier. So um, we're just going to go with that. And uh, yeah, so uh, I hope you stuck around. Sorry, <laughs> this, this, I'm not sure this was ever supposed to go up. It just seems like it's been one thing after another thing, but I don't care. Um, the TBR games are one of my most favorite videos kind to watch, and so therefore I really want to play this game. I also really do not want to have to, if I if I hit a boat, if you've noticed, I'm not putting red, um, the red things in. If I hit a boat and then I don't read the book, then I'll put a little red in there. So, I don't know. Alrighty, so stick around and... Uh, be sure to watch this month's videos to see which books I get to. So, bye. I do have to say the dogs playing is really kind of throwing me off here, but uh, they keep playing every time I turn on the camera. So, yay for them. Let's do drool number <coughs> okay, so the first, <coughs> okay, hi, my name is Kim, I'm the Audible Book Reader, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm, hey, stop it guys, this was by Steve Pimpleton, and it was narrated by Steve, Steve, Steve Pimpleton. <sighs> Guys, hey, lay down. And I chose, ch er, and this prompt was Hit number one, it was a hit, and we got, for shot number one, it was a hit, it was I-8, and the prompt was chapter title that has art. Hi. Hi, my name is Kimberly, I'm, hi, my name 
name is Kimberly. I am the Audible book creator, and today we're playing Battleship Battle. Blah, 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 blah. 